Hi everybody. Um, yesterday, Donald Trump uh, stopped any further sanctions on Russia for uh, the alleged gas attack by Assad on his own people, which makes no sense whatsoever, by the way. There's probably a link up there to one of the videos explaining why not. Um, but Trump stopped any further sanctions being put on Russia, specifically Russian businesses who could have supplied Syria with the materials to make these chemical weapons. Notice I said could there, not will. And TYT did a segment on it last night. Jen Huger was the host as, as normal. And the way it started, the way the segment started was actually, um, it was quite surprising to me. Take a look. I don't know who did that bombing. And according to our own Defense Secretary, uh, Jim Mattis, we're not positive who did that chemical attack in Syria. So I definitely don't want bombs in response to it, but sanctions if we were sure that they did it, then I wouldn't mind the sanctions at all. So, uh, but we're not sure. So anyway, but they are getting tough on Russia, fair is fair. I was like, wow, does this mean they're gonna stop with the, with the Russiagate nonsense? Does this mean they're gonna stop with the, the, the Putin, is, has got Trump in his pocket rubbish that they've been pushing now for nearly two years? Does this mean he's finally seen sense and finally seen that there's no way that Trump can be in Putin's pocket? Well, he goes, he starts to talk about the fact that Nikki Haley um, said that there was going to be a new round of uh, sanctions, but then Trump came out yesterday and said no. And watch how he, he reports on the next segment. Trump conferred with his national security advisors later Sunday and told them that he was upset the sanctions were being officially rolled out because he was not yet comfortable executing them, according to several people familiar with the plan. Hmm, that's interesting. So all of a sudden, roll that one back, not as much. In fact, President Trump on Monday put the brakes on a preliminary plan to impose additional economic sanctions on Russia. So it turns out we won't be doing them after all. By the way, if Trump were to have some sort of deal with some folks uh, that are in power in Russia, whether they are government officials uh, and or connected to oligarchs uh, who helped to run Russia. Well, doing sanctions on those oligarchs would be far more relevant than some bombing campaign. So he doesn't want any bombing, that's a bad idea. He's been consistent on that as well, so I'll give him credit. Um, but. He only wants sanctions put on people if it's proven that Assad gassed his own people and if it's proven that obviously Russia or Russian companies supplied Assad with the ability to make those chemical weapons. But there isn't any proof. So surely he shouldn't want the sanctions. But then because Trump hasn't put the sanctions on Russia, these Russian companies, now it goes towards the evidence of, oh, he's, he's definitely he's backing with the Russian oligarchs and he's got a financial deal with the Russian oligarchs. Can you see how nuts this is? He carries on a little bit, I'll, I'll show you a little bit more. As you can tell, uh, I have deep concerns about Trump's actual motivation. And as I've told you many times before, I think the overwhelming majority of the evidence points to the, to the fact that he is beholden to the Russians for whatever reason. I happen to think it's a financial reason, but hopefully the special counsel will find out the exact facts. It is, honestly, it's getting to the point now where all I can do is, is just laugh at him. That's all I can, I can just laugh at the, it, he's, he's tying himself up in knots. It, it's really hilarious to watch. He doesn't want it to happen, but then when it doesn't happen, it's proof that <laughs> it gets more evidence that Trump is in Putin's pocket. Now, then he goes on to, to hypothesize that it's uh, and he he does bring up some Washington Post stories and and other other publications that have have said from sources within the White House that um it's the military industrial complex and his staff that are pushing for these and he's the one resisting. Now, if there's no proof, then that's obviously a good thing, isn't it? If he's proof and he he shouldn't he shouldn't have his staff dictating to him. He's the president what to do, he should make the decision. Watch what he goes on and says next. So look, uh, when it comes to policy, I don't agree with the national security team 
that we need to be more antagonistic towards Russia, or certainly that we need to do bombings in the middle of Syria without a proper investigation or evidence. So it's a funny thing, but but in terms of the policy, certainly as it regards to Syria, I agree more with Trump than I do with his national security team. But in terms of uh, who's on which side, the national security team is overly aggressive against Russia, but clearly they are the ones that are pushing the sanctions, the attacks, uh, any kind of rebuke of Putin or Russia. Clearly they're on that side. And clearly on the other side is Donald Trump saying, no, don't do it to the Russians. Don't, 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 don't. Over and over and over again. And whenever he does do it, it's because they took four days to convince him that he basically had no choice. It really is hilarious to watch. He's saying he doesn't want he doesn't want his staff and he doesn't want you know the generals and all that sort of thing dictating what to do, especially with Syria and and Russia. Doesn't want that at all. He, he wants him to make the decisions, but then when he makes the decisions and says no which Jen wants him to say no because there's no proof, then it's more evidence that he's got financial gains to be made through Russian companies. It's honestly, it's the most preposterous thing ever. It really is. I have, he's made them insane. He's made them insane. For, for clarity, and just to show you that I'm not the only one who, is, has taken this stance on Russia because I'm sure people watching this right now are going to agree with me 100%. Um, but there is somebody else. There was a politician who came on uh, on CNN on Wolf Blitzer's show. I think it was today. I think it was today. I've seen the clip today anyway. And they spoke total sense and basically said what I have been saying now for weeks. Absolute weak. So, which politician was it? Was it Chuck Schumer? Was it uh, Nancy Pelosi? Was it Kirsten Gillibrand? Was it was it Elizabeth Warren? Was it Bernie Sanders? Take a look who it was. Well, I think before you talk about sanctions, we ought to talk about you know what evidence is there that the Ru that Russia was complicit in this attack. In fact, for that matter, I still look at the attack and say, you know, Assad either must be the dumbest dictator on the planet, or maybe he didn't do it. I have yet to see evidence that he did do it. The intelligence agencies claim they have that evidence, but think about it. Does it make any sense? He's been winning the war for the last couple of years. The only thing that would galvanize the world to attack Assad directly is a chemical attack. It killed relatively few people compared to what can be killed with traditional bombs, traditional machine guns, traditional tanks. And so you wonder, really, what logic would there be for Assad to be using chemical weapons? So before we get to the Russians, we have to first determine that the Syria was implicated. And then really, we ought to determine what the connection is between Russia and Syria, Syria on this it attack. As you know, uh, not just the U.S., but France and the U.K., uh, they participated in the bombing of these chemical sites in Syria. Are you saying, Senator, the president uh, had bad intelligence? I don't know. I haven't seen the intelligence. I, we have a briefing this afternoon where I may see some of this. But the difficulty is these things are not a slam dunk. This was back in 2013, uh, President Obama looked at that chemical attack. And at that point in time, there were his generals saying, hey, it's not a slam dunk. Because you can detect that uh, there were Syrian planes, you can detect that Syrians dropped bombs, but it's sometimes difficult to know whether they bombed an existing depot of weapons, and the rebels have been known to use chemical weapons, or whether the Syrians did it. If the Syrians did it, it gets back to the question, Assad must be the dumbest dictator on the planet to use chemical weapons when he knows from previous evidence, it's the only thing that gets the world galvanized to attack him. My favorite part about that, I'll, uh, I'll put it up here, is Wolf Blister's face. <laughs> he's, he's looking at Rand Paul as if so. Mm. He's talking sense, what do I do? I don't know whether that's Wolf Blister's just normal face or what, but I suspect it probably is. But it, it is funny watching him. But that's a sensible way to look at it. And I hate to be, able to be the one here to say a Republican is the one talking sense here and the liberal media just are not. But it's, it's the truth. There's something that Jenk missed from that whole uh, clip, by the way. Um, he talked about the bombing of Syria and the sanctions. He didn't talk about the other times 
Syria has been bombed. He didn't talk out uh, talk about the build up of NATO troops on Russia's border. He didn't uh, talk about the arms deal with Ukraine, arming these fascist right wing, almost terror group in Ukraine, which is an enemy of Russia right on the on the border. Didn't mention that. Didn't mention the ships in the Black Sea that have been, that Trump has sent there. That again is in Russia. Russia's most important port is in the Black Sea. So none of that has been mentioned and it's a position that they have taken these russia gators that cannot be refuted it doesn't matter what trump does if he doesn't do uh, sanctions or bombing or if he isn't hawkish with russia if he doesn't make tweets and threatening putin is putin's puppet and it's it's evidence that he's got money invested in oligarchs and that's why he's not doing it and if he does do it, no, 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 don't do it, don't do the bombing, that's terrible. And don't do the sanctions either, you've got no evidence. So which is it? And this is the, it's the mental gymnastics they go, go through. Donald Trump has made these people absolutely insane. They really have. Now, with regards to, the, it, Cenk actually mentioned that the, uh, let me just get it up on the screen. Uh, Cenk, Cenk actually mentioned the investigation there we'll see what the investigation says now in my book Russiagate the establishment lie there's a link down there it actually says this and I wanted to make this very clear because sooner or later I'm going to be proven true I know I'm going to be proven right on this because you know it's 2 plus 2 plus equals 4 it's that easy I said this will it ever be proven that Trump colluded with Russia in order to win the 2016 election the answer to that is no Absolutely not. A better question than that would be, will Donald Trump be charged with something else? To that, the chances are much, much higher of being yes. Most people are of the opinion that Donald Trump has been involved in some shady dealings in the past with his real estate businesses. With this in mind, it's far more likely to Mueller to find financial irregularities in his history than any collusion with Russia. Now, what? This Russia investigation with Mueller, where is it now? It's financial irregularities, correct? With a payment to Stormy Daniels, correct? This is what the, the Russia investigation was all about. It wasn't about Russia. It wasn't. And I said that time and time again. It's in the book. I make it plain as day. The investigation was not about Russia. The investigation was about the DNC refusing to change their ways and refusing to move left to a populist platform. Instead, they may have Trump up this story. I'm sorry, but I've said Trump up there. It was I didn't mean it. But they've trumped up this story to say, hey, Russia cost us the election. That's what the investigation is built upon, this hack of the DNC. That's why it all started. But it was never about proving co Russia collusion. Remember, remember how Bill Clinton was, uh, was impeached. They weren't investigating him for Monica Lewinsky. They were investigating for, for something totally different. Monica Lewinsky was just what they found in the investigation. And this is exactly what is going to happen. If I was Trump, honestly, right now, I'd just fire Mueller. I really would. I'd just fire him. And if they want to get me from an obstruction of justice, fine. They're going to, they're going to do something to impeach him no matter what. So we might as well just fire Mueller. There is a video coming up in the next couple of weeks I'm going to do on Mueller. That guy is not to be trusted. He really isn't. The Liberals are trying to say that he's some sort of hero at the moment, that he's going to bring down Trump. No, he's not a hero. He's a horrible, horrible man with a history of lying under oath. And that's what the video is going to be about. I hope I've shone a light on... Not just how the Lib I don't mean to pick uh, pick on Jenke. I could have picked on Rachel Maddow or I could have picked on anybody at CNN. I really could have. It would have been so easy. I'm sure there are plenty of examples. And I don't mean to come on down on Jenke. As I've said many times, I'm actually a fan of him and 95% of what he does is excellent. I support him and I like him. The reason I come down on him so hard is because I like him. And I know if he just left this Russia stuff alone, and stop trying to push this narrative. 
it'd be fine in my book and most other people's book as well but they just won't stop and then I've shown you Rand Paul who gave you what I've been saying now for weeks and that's basically what I wanted to highlight in the video I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe please click the bell otherwise you won't see any more videos if you can support me I really need you need your help to continue doing this there's a link down there to patreon and there's one to PayPal as well and obviously a link to the book thanks very much for your support you're all awesome you really are and I love you to bits I cannot say how much I appreciate your support thanks very much for watching until next time peace and take care